I got, yeah, I got training, so I don't know about that. And after the way Tyson Fury looked, what kind of chances do you give him against the Austin Wilder if they fight? They say you're only as good as your last performance. And um, based on last two performances, he didn't look that good. And um, but like I said before, man, I, I don't blame Tyson Fury. He's a fighter and he's going up to a big payday. I don't blame Deontay. The next biggest name right there at this point right now is Tyson Fury of a sudden. I blame the sanctioning bodies because you, you preach all these rules and VADA testing and this person can't fight because he didn't fight a mandatory. But Tyson Fury been out for two years, basically, for two nobodies. Now you're going to make him make a champion fight this guy? Well, I can get put money in your pocket, right? So, like I said before, you gotta look at some of these sanctioned bodies and hold them accountable because they're the ones that we're fighting to help keep their belts at a prestige level. But then, as, as far as they shitting on us to make bigger fights when it's not when it, when it's not when it's when it's not built the right way. Does the winner of that fight have a clear edge over AJ in terms of who's ranked number one? Is this rate is this AJ beat Klitschko, but Fury beat Klitschko, and if Wilder beats him, etc. Like no, I, 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 I still don't think it because Tyson Fury done hundred percent. You know, in my eye, Tyson Fury done hundred. If Tyson Fury beats Deontay, that's a different story. But Tyson Fury, the other beat Tyson Fury, it's not because Tyson Fury hasn't met the standards of being a top contender again. You know what I'm trying to say? He came out of nowhere, fought two guys in the top 15 or 20 we never heard of. Now he went from level 20 to level one overnight. Now, all of a sudden now, if Deontay beats a guy at level 20, he makes a superstar? No, he beat a guy that was out for two years that fought nobody. So it kind of tarnishes Deontay's a little bit, but at the same time, he's going for the big money, and that makes sense. But for the, the sanction of bodies, to allow it, the whole thing. What do you see different between the Tyson Fury three years ago and now after the layoff? How do you uh, timing, uh, ag aggressiveness. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't judge his distance that well as of yet. Uh, he seems to think he's boxing like Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, like Muhammad Ali. Like. I, li I like Tyson Fury, but for a big guy, he's doing very well. He's not a clumsy. He's not a clumsy big guy. To me, he moves better than Deontay. But when you talk, still, he still moves better. Yeah, I think he still does. He has better fundamentals of the boxing game. But when you come, we talk about moving. What's I'm looking for? I can't find a word right now. In your opinion, who's effective, the best boxer? Effective, effective uh -huh. aggression and effective boxing right now. I don't Green feel Jim Rush. I don't feel like Tyson Star right now is gonna benefit.